What up, what up, Jesse? If you JP in the house, right now I'm on my way to uh, Wakayama. Jessica I finished meeting one of my subscribers. Just came out here to Japan. We're gonna uh, go out tonight, make some videos tomorrow. Probably end up going to Kyoto or someplace to make some more videos and stuff. Do some Do You Love Black Men videos and stuff. Hopefully, we get these out for sure tomorrow. Um, I just want to say. Thanks to all of my subscribers, you know, wherever you're from around the world. Um, like I said, my, my videos are just, you know, stress relief for myself and, you know, just something to put up. But, you know, um, slowly but surely, you know, a lot of people, you know, are enjoying them and finding them motivating for them and, you know, helping them. But they also help me. But then again, also the comments that I get from all of my, sub all of my subscribers you know they really help me too even from the haters you know sometimes I engage them in um, conversations during personal uh, private mail and stuff like that and a lot of them turn out to be cool you know it's just you know the same old uh, things you know just miss a little bit misunderstanding here and there you know and, and every all of us have our own little personal problems and stuff and I guess the way we express and we don't express in the way that we really should but you know that's understandable because I think we're all at fault for doing that you know, and we can learn to um, fix that up. But also um, to my, um, but to my brothers and stuff, you know, you guys give me inspiration too. Cause even though I'm out here and I I understand a lot of things, and there's a lot of things I don't understand, but from what I do understand, you know, um, sometimes you know I do get weak, you know, and things happen and stuff, and you know I can always go back and read your comments or read some of the um, mail and stuff that I get and you know they're encouraging to me also and um, like I said my whole point is to show brothers that you know and whoever else you know that's in, under um, um, any type of oppression and stuff you know that that's in the United States that hey you know you can go other places and uh, and be successful and get away from all that oppression. If you got, like, you know, in Egypt, they're over there protesting and stuff, you know, and, um, you know, because they're tired and stuff, you know. And we got a democratic, um, a democratic um, government. So, I mean, <laughs> we, you know, all we can do is just, you know, protest for more freedoms and more equality and stuff like that, you know. But there's other ways to go about doing it, you know. We're not even have to go out there because you know we go out there and start protesting and you know they're gonna start saying other things and then go out there and you know start um, people are gonna get hurt for no reason so you know instead of um, doing it like that you know like I said um, there's a lots and there are lots of ways to make money nowadays you don't even have to do it in your own country you know um, the other day I saw this video where this one brother got beat by these six cops and stuff you know because he stole a car and they really worked him over. You know, they got caught on video, and now they're talking about they, they're not guilty for what? For not hitting them and stuff, you know? So it's it's a trip, though. And I'm not saying, you know, he probably didn't deserve it, because some countries probably would have got killed, you know, for stealing this stuff. But still, you know, uh, you know, I don't know. You know, all I'm just saying is, you know, you young kids, you know, please put your head in the books, because really, when you start to study and you start reading, you start understanding different vocabulary, it just, you know, the vocabulary and stuff like that, it really does change you and makes you focus on different things. And, you know, if you're 15, 13, you know, just hit those books because time is going to go by fast, you know, and you don't want to wait till you're my age to start doing things because a lot of people do start waking up at 40 years old and you know once you get over a certain age the cops ain't really trying to bother you and stuff you know and then you have time to think but you know everything's done changed and stuff and if you're not keeping up then you got to start over so while you're young you know just stay off the streets you know if you if you're under 17 and you don't have anything to do and you want to hang out with your friends you know you guys go hang out at a library or go hang out in each other's homes you know you got the cops rolling up and down in your neighborhoods, you know, if you're not out there selling drugs or, you know, if you're not out there playing basketball or whatever, you know, or whatever you're doing on the streets, if you're not doing anything that's positive, then just sit in the house, you know, instead of just sitting outside, standing, you know, what you're doing in the yard and stuff, you know, just sit in the house because, you know, 
they'll 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 come up in your yards trying to mess with you and stuff. You know, when they roll by, don't even look. You know, in Japan, the people don't even look at the cops. You know, you don't even, you don't have to look at them. You know, you look at them, they, they, it's like they think it's just giving them a reason to stop. But they just like I said, they're like pit bulls just waiting. Arr! You know, and they'll they'll look at you and you'll jump and they're like, oh, why are you jumping? I'm on my front yard. I can't jump. Well, you know, you must be guilty. You know, some crap like that. So you know, um, your brothers and stuff. You know, just hit them books, cause you know it's just memory. You know, most of it. You know, really should read your own history and stuff. But you know, if you're there, you gotta read that history. Okay, just go on and memorize and stuff so you can get a good grade, and then forget about it. You know, or whatever. You know, but you know the vocabulary, the math, the science, all that stuff. You know, if they can, if they can do that stuff trust me it's gonna come a whole lot easier than um for you it's gonna come trust me it's gonna come a lot easier you know and um you know so you know i'm out here just doing my thing you know like today on one of my um classes was one lady i work for like almost everybody quit except for two and i got like only four students but my think i was making like seven hundred dollars so that's gonna drop probably when she's just sent me an email to maybe about 40 bucks, you know, and a month is gonna be like 160. So, um, but I got another friend, my tour guys, you know, she said, Give me some pamphlets and get her some pamphlets, and she's gonna help give them to her friends. And you know, I could teach them because I think all her friends they might be rich and stuff. So, hopefully, I can um, hook up with that and get these books published and stuff. I keep saying that stuff, and I'm not doing it, you know, but I need someone to get it edited and stuff, you know, but. This year, I'm gonna really try to push this, really, really push, push, and I'm really trying to really push this stuff, make this money, and do what I do, cause um, you know, cause I really do want to um, make a lot of money, generate a lot of money, so I can um, help a lot of brothers and stuff. You guys got records and stuff, and can't get jobs. You know, one of my uh, subscribers just told me that I can. Um, you need like thousands of dollars to get your records sealed and stuff like that. You know, maybe you might want to start doing some type of petitions or something that when you get your, serve your time, you know, then, you know, you can get your rights back, you know, so at least you can make a living. But, you know, there's way, there's so many ways to make a living and stuff like that. But anyway, that's not what I'm supposed to be talking about. But like I said, you know, you guys are my inspiration also, you know, and, you know, I get out here like today, I just met this one brother walking down the street and me and, uh, the guy I'm hanging out with now, uh, well, I don't know if I should call this name, uh, but uh, when I saw him, you know, I said, y'all, I'm, I'm going to stop and say hi to this guy. I hope you don't mind. He's like, no, it's cool. So I stopped. When I jumped out the car, I started talking to homeboy. You know, he brother from the stage, and we just sitting there talking, rapping and stuff, you know, and then I, I told him about my videos, and he said he saw one of my Do You Love Black Men videos. And I said, yeah, that's me. He's like, why? Well, right, why? That's you. Oh, yeah, the Lexus and all this stuff and things like that, you know, so. All I'm saying is, um, you know, you guys giving me uh, inspiration too, you know. Of course, you know, I got, of course, my kids, my beautiful daughter, and my son, and my um, two beautiful son, beautiful daughters, handsome sons, and from my mom, and, you know, and, you know, but I still got it, you know, like, a, like I know this might sound selfish, but, you know, the number one person in my life is me, and the number one person in your life should be you. And you should do everything you can to keep yourself as positive, on the right road, generating, creating, um, invigorating, whatever aiding you want to do, everything positive, because you never know when somebody else is going to need your help. And you always want to be prepared to help people, you know. And, like, tonight I'm going out with, like, um, my homegirl, um, return to say cider i think her name is greg money and then the two um, one of my subscribers and the other guy I just met and you know um uh, many people want like like six of us gonna hang out you know and just chill out and just have some fun you know what i'm saying and you know just chill out but i just want to say thanks to all my subscribers all of you right now i'm getting like a whole bunch of subscribers and stuff and um, I'm going to do a dedication to um, video to my original uh, subscribers. And a lot of them I got because of my um, um, ISF Lexus tour uh, test drive video. You know, I 
thing. You know, that's what um, I found out about uh, the partnership because I had got over 100,000 views. But anyway, I'm out. Peace.